Hi, I'm Jerry O'Donnell with Four Angels Messages, and I'm joined this morning with my son. Hi, I'm Seth. And together we're going to address another child's question, but before we begin, we're going to take a moment in prayer. Our Father, thank you so very much for this opportunity to spend in thy word. We pray for your Holy Spirit to guide us. Please provide us with the answer to our question. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. All right, Seth, what's our question today? What does the dream in Genesis 28, 12 mean? All right, so uh, for those, by the way, that are unfamiliar about the dream, I'm going to read to you out of Genesis 28, verse 12 real quickly here, as my son can go and find uh, John 1, 51, is, which is our answer. Uh, so in the meantime, Genesis 28, 12, the Bible says, And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. So Jacob saw this ladder, and angels were ascending and descending upon it. So now let's take a look at John chapter 1. John chapter 1. And we're going to see those words repeated and applied to by Jesus himself. In John chapter 1, verse 51, the Bible says... And he, that's Jesus, saith unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. So the latter actually represents Jesus Christ. He is the connection to God the Father. You see, when Adam and Eve sinned, all connection to God the Father was cut off. The only connection we have from heaven to earth is this ladder that Jacob saw. What does the ladder represent? Jesus Christ. He's the one that provides the connection back to the Father. And all that believe on him and accept him as our Savior will be able to uh, be welcomed into heaven. But in the meantime, as life continues to go on, we have angels ascending and descending through the uh, opening that Jesus has made, uh, bringing us messages, bringing us encouragement to try and help us to uh, uh, get ready for heaven. And so may we be thankful for what Jesus has done for us, being the latter symbolically, that is, uh, represented him, and uh, be very thankful for that. And that's our answer. That's where we get, that's what the latter actually meant. And the angels in, uh, ascending and descending are literally the angels working for us. How about that? All right, let's take a moment in prayer again. Our Father, thank you so very much for this time to have spent with you. Thank you so very much for the connection that was provided. In other words, thank you, God, for sending your Son that we may have this opportunity of eternal life and thank you for all the messengers that you send as well guarding us from the evils that are ever before us and we thank you for all these things in Jesus wonderful name amen